in, in the early 1700s, people really started to colonize this area for the first time. And originally, some of the first colonies were in, you know, up around Norfolk and then down in Charleston. And, and so folks from Charleston came up this way. And they were the Moors, the Eagles, uh, the Davises, the Quince families, to name a few, the Waters. And so it was like nine families that came up this area and, and were able to get a large tracts of land through the, from the Lord proprietors. One of the areas was our area right here, River Bluff. So originally there were two plantations. There was the, the Rose Hill Plantation, which is just to the north and encompassed some of this land, and then the, the um, Rock Hill Plantation. And, um, and so this land has basically been undeveloped ever since then. There is, um, it was left pretty much just like it was, and we have a very mature growth of forest on the majority of it. The, um, some of the histories, we, when it was first discovered, there's a wreck that's called the Rose Hill Wreck near our border to the north of our property. And that, that was at one time the oldest wreck in North Carolina until they discovered the Queen's Anne Revenge up off Moorhead. But this was a coastal trader and it was probably carrying pine tar and they, it, it had burned to the water line. But the, the frame of the, of the, um, the keel and everything's still there and uh, be on our northern boundary. There's also a cemetery from the Davises that we have on the site that we're preserve and preserving and we've already done a lot of work on that. It would, had been vandalized over all the years and we refinished the uh, crypts and glued them back together and the um, big marble uh, slabs that were on top and you can read the engravings on them and they uh, all date back to the you know, early 1800s. 